Hey you beautiful nerds, geeks and otakus, welcome back to the Canadian Nerd Show for our coverage of Anime North, Canada's premier fan-run anime convention. Now I'd like to remind you that the Canadian Nerd Show is now brought to you by our amazing friends over at Han Solo Records, Canada's source for both the best in nerdcore and underground hip-hop. So make sure that you check them out by clicking right up here. Additionally, we want to welcome our newest sponsors on board, and that is Superpower Collectibles, your one-stop shop for comics, collectibles, action figures, and more. So make sure that you check them out by clicking right up here. Also, we'd just like to remind you guys that there are only about two or three weeks left in our Han Solo Records giveaway, in which you have a chance to win free Nerdcore music. Does it get any better? Free and Nerdcore? Come on. So give it a click right over here for a very, very good chance for you to take home some awesome Canadian Nerdcore music. But now let's jump into the meat of it and what you guys came here to do, and that is Anime North. So in the case that you are not there or don't know what Anime North is, Anime North is hands down the largest manga, otaku, and anime gathering in all of Canada. It spans two venues, those being the Doubletree Hotel as well as the Toronto Congress Centre, and I believe visitors number in the tens and tens of thousands. So it is definitely the place to be if you are a big manga or anime fan. And that doesn't even begin to describe it. They had a live stage outside on which during the day there were some artistic Japanese performances and at night there was some awesome J-pop and K-pop raves. So uh, definitely made for a good time. There were oceans of cosplayers as far as the eye can see representing every character you could possibly imagine. It was truly a sight to behold. And furthermore, outside of their scheduled programming, they also had musicians outside. So it was definitely, definitely an epic weekend. I strongly advise that you are there next year and make sure to get yourself a hotel in and around the place because um, without it, you will spend a lot of time commuting to and from with all of the millions of things that you purchased and it's probably less than ideal. So but now we give you guys a quick breakdown of how we're gonna proceed with all of the awesome, awesome Anime North footage to be able to give it to you guys in uh, digestible little portions rather than just throwing a couple hours of footage at you because I'm sure that wouldn't be very much fun. So first, in this episode, which is our first of three Anime North videos, what we'll do is take you guys inside the Masquerade and more specifically, the Saturday Night Masquerade, which is their big oversized masquerade with some of the best costumes and cosplayers. Um, and furthermore, we were lucky enough to catch what I believe is every single contestant. Um, and being as there were 90, that is definitely a tall order. So I hope you guys appreciate it. And furthermore, I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, after that, in our second episode, which will be live in the next couple of days, what we'll do is we'll take you guys inside the convention. We'll show you guys around the space, do our standard walkthrough, check out some epic cosplay. I mean, we got some amazing, amazing stuff for you guys to check out. And finally, in our third and final episode of Anime North coverage, we'll take you guys inside the epic Friday Night Sketch Masquerade, after which we'll also take you guys on a walk through the Doubletree Hotel to give you guys a sense of what that space was like as well. Now, I just want to preface by saying that our Masquerade video only has about a 10 second excerpt from all the different contestants, and that's because, once again, there were 90 contestants. So, in order to make it digestible for you, we cut it down to something that, well, you'd be able to sit there and handle watching. So, um, without further ado, let's jump in and check out the awesome Masquerade.
get started, huh? Entry number one in the Young Fan Division. Renoa Hartley. Renoa and her puppy Angelo were best friends growing up. Renoa had no idea of the future that awaited her. Next discovery be from Legend of Zelda emerges to attack light with fireballs.
Tokyo Metropolitan Police Special Vehicles Division. Alvita, of course, and to those naysayers who think Boa Hancock is the fairest, at a party. into a wonderful paradise of eternal night and coldness. I shall...
whenever you see this woman in the streets, good day, my lady. Simple words. exactly have the same character. That's it for our coverage of the Saturday Night Anime North Masquerade. We hope that you enjoyed it as much as we did. And furthermore, we definitely love to know what your favorite costumes were. Right down there in the comments. And if you want to see some more amazing Canadian Nerd Show Anime North footage, then you can absolutely do that by subscribing to our channel right over here to be notified of when our next Anime North video is posted. However, before we close out, I want to once again thank 
our amazing sponsors, and those are Han Solo Records, Canada's home for the best in both Canadian nerdcore and underground hip-hop, as well as our newest sponsor, Superpower Collectibles, your one-stop shop for comics, collectibles, action figures, and more. So finally, I just want to strongly encourage all of you to please like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe to the Canadian Nerd Channel to stay abreast of all of the amazing Anime North footage, Toy-Con footage, and just great stuff that we've got coming up in the pipeline. And until our next episode, peace, take care, à la prochaine.